In this video, I'm going to show you a great MTB fitness workout that you can do that is brilliant for building up your strength and your fitness for on the mountain bike. So it's a circuit of five exercises back to back, which I promise you, at the end of a set, you will be sweating and proper panting for a breath. It's a really good workout. You can do it in any gym. You don't need masses of sort of complicated equipment. It's just barbells, dumbbells, and then some kind of cardio equipment at the end. I'll obviously go through them one by one. So you can do this, come into the gym, smash a few sets out, and then you're done. Real, really real simple but it absolutely smashes your fitness so give it a go next time you're in the gym and then leave me a comment or drop me an email matt at mtb.fitness and let me know how you found the workout let's dive in so you've got four exercises back to back you're going to do 10 reps on every exercise except the kettlebell swing but i'll talk to you about that when we get to it so i'm just going to show you all five exercises in quick succession now so you know what they are and i'll put them up on the screen for you and then i'm going to come back and then show you a little bit more about technique on each exercise so your first exercise you're going to dive on straight into a barbell squat so under the bar and then 10 reps of squat so you want to get nice and deep all the way down 10 of those, so that's your first one. So 10 reps, barbell squat, and then second exercise, grabbing your dumbbells, and then straight into a shoulder press. So one foot forward, one foot back, and then all you're doing is pressing the weights up and down above your head. 10 of those, then as soon as you've done that, straight onto your kettlebell, and then kettlebell swings. So pivoting, flicking your kettlebell up. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you proper technique later in the video. Good. Now you're gonna do 30 of those, so much more reps. So 10, 10, 30. As soon as you've done those, straight out to bent over rows. Pick up your dumbbells, pivot with your bum back, shoulders back, and then rowing the weight. 10 reps. Then when you've done that, Round the corner, and we're going to jump on an assault bike, which I'll show you now. So in your gym, what you can do ideally is kind of keep the equipment together if you can. So this space here, you could set it up and have like a little circuit so you've not got a, bre a break. But if need to be, you can just go around the corner. So then jump on an assault bike, if your gym's got one, and hammer yourself for 30 seconds. Just like that. So 30 seconds on here. So squat, shoulder press, kettlebell swings, bent over row, hammer yourself on the assault bike for 30 seconds. If you don't have one of these, you can use a rowing machine or you can use a normal bike if you want. And you've also got your know, ski ergs in the background, actually it's there. You could use one of those either. So it's just a blast for 30 seconds. But the assault bike's ideal because you're pedaling and using your upper body, both pressing and pulling. So that's the ideal kind of basis for it. So I'll put it on the screen for you now so you can see the exercises written down. You can take a screenshot if you want, and then I'll show you the technique for each one. So I'll talk a little bit more about technique for each of the exercises just so you can get them right. If you're on my 12 week or my 16 week program, I've got demo videos in there which go into detail on how to do every single exercise. So if you squat, for example, you've got like a five minute video in the 12 week program which tells you exactly how to do it. But we'll give you a short and down version now. So for a back squat, always face the mirror. Every now and again, you see someone that kind of faces away from it. You want to be facing forward. And the reason for that is so that you can see where you're racking the bar on. There's nothing worse than trying to rack the bar backwards with too much weight on you. So you get under the bar, line your fingers up onto the bar and get under. And then brace yourself in position first and then up, a couple of steps back, set your feet. So you're going about shoulder width apart Get the bar nice and stable, tense your core, shoulders back, and then squat nice and low, and then up, three heels, back up to the top. Like that. Um, when you're going down, make sure you keep a nice straight back. You don't want to be rounding like that, and you also don't want to be really flicking it back. And then with your knees as well, just one second, pop this bar back. With your knees as well, you want to make sure as you're going down that they're not dropping in and they're not dropping out either. They're just tracking nice and straight. So that again is where the mirror comes in because you can watch your knees and just make sure they're staying nice and stable in the mirror. They're staying in the right direction. And you'll notice as well when I'm done, a couple of small steps back and rack the bar back on. So 
that's your proper technique for a back squat. Um, again, if you're in my program, there's really detailed advice on doing those properly, but that's your general do's and do nots, if you like, of a back squat. Second one is your shoulder press. So for this one, I don't know why I'm rushing, <laughs> I'm getting myself all out of breath. Second one, chest up, I would do, if you're doing 10 reps like on this workout, I would do five with your left leg forward and five with your right leg forward and then that'll just make sure that it works your legs evenly, works both, both sides of your core evenly. This one, palms facing each other, tense your stomach as if you're about to get hit in the stomach and then control it, press it up above your head. You want to make sure that you completely straighten out your arms at the top and come all the way down to your shoulders at the bottom as well, that's important. Keep your shoulders back, keep everything straight. If you want to use a weight for this where you don't have to bounce the weight up, so if you're bouncing the weight up, it's probably too heavy for you, just go down a weight and use a little bit of a lighter weight and make sure, excuse me, hiccups, make sure as well that you're not really arching your back and leaning back, you're keeping your back straight, straight whilst you're doing those. So that's number two. Another tip for you, don't drink sparkling water in the gym or else you'll be hiccuping like I am. Third one, kettlebell swings. So, this one is really, really good for us mountain bikers because it's all about that hip hinge and having the power to flick forward, which if you think when you're on a descent, you're in that position and you might have to bunny hop, you've got that flick up of your hips, or if you're manual and it's a similar kind of movement, so it's a really good exercise for us. Pick up the kettlebell, you can place it on your leg and then give it a nudge to get it going, and then you just swing in and pivot in. So I'll show you a couple of angles you're not going too low, bending your legs slightly, and then you're flicking your bum forward to get a powerful swing. So from the side, nice and powerful. Notice I'm not coming too low, and I'm not bending my legs too much. Common mistake with this one is to squat and then come up. So you're not doing that, it's a hip hinge, it's a pivot. If you notice my knees are only bending ever so slightly. They're not really bending down. It's not squat, it's just that slight pivot. So that's your next one. And then bent over row, similar kind of exercise. So for this one, side on, you'll notice my back is nice and straight and my shoulders are back. And then pulling the weight up there. Real common mistake with this one is to see people rounding the back like that, or they'll be way too high. So they'll only like come and sort of drop the chest to there. Whereas what you want to do is drop your chest nice and low, keep that back straight, and really get down over the bike. And then for the assault bike, just sit on that and go mad. There's <laughs> no real technique for that. Keep your chest up high, really smash it, but it only goes one direction, so you can't really do too much wrong on there. So there you have it. That's your five exercises. I'm out of breath just demonstrating them, so I'm sure you can tell that's going to be a minging workout for you. So four to six sets of that. Again, if you go... Earlier on in the video, you can take a screenshot of the plan so you can bring it into the gym with you and it will absolutely thrash you. So do let me know how you get on. It's nice when I do these videos to hear that you've tried it in the gym and killed yourself on it. So it'd be cool to hear how you get on with it. And if you want more MTB fitness plans, make sure you go to the website, mtb.fitness, and you can check out my 12-week and my 16-week program on there as well. And then you've got tons of plans to absolutely batter yourself. I'm going to go get my breath back and you can go out of breath yourself with this workout. Thanks for watching.